This reduces the chances of Buckbeak getting hit. And as I said, the whole point of this mission is to keep Buckbeak alive. Because Buckbeak is the only one who can actually damage that guy. I wish right. I'm not sure if doing this again actually does anything. Let's see, does it? Nope. So yeah, you can just kind of spam Flipendo here. And it actually does two damage if it's critical. But you know, that's very nice. Now, how Buckbeak disappears. Why the? Okay. And we're going to want to fix that. Let's see what we got here. So to common poison, anti-paralyze. There we go. Not paralyzed anymore. Oh crap! I should. Oh good, Famous is still on. Miss. See, and it drastically increases the chances of him missing. Now, yeah, when you play it on fast, he actually disappears. It's kind of funny. Okay, good. Of course he missed, there was nothing there. And he still can hit Bug Peak sometime. Okay, let me just check. Yeah, you really don't want Bug Peak to die here. Sadie! Crap. Okay, just I'm just gonna pause for a second, my cat's scratching box very loudly. Is it just me or are all LPers cat people? I just noticed that. Right. I'm going to make a safe state here because I'm going to be risky and see how long I can go without using a uh, potion on him. That's what you need the potions for just for Buckbeak because he only attacks Buckbeak. And I think I can afford to use a potion. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let me check his stats. Yeah, potion. And don't be afraid to use double potion in one turn. I am serious, because his attack does more than one potion. So double potion is the key to victory here. And Famos is also very useful. Let me just check his stats. Okay, we should be pretty good for a while. He's almost dead anyway, so we should be fine. Actually, that wasn't the wisest choice. Let me check his stats. Uh, he can go one more hit. Well, we'll see. Okay, now double potion. Double potion. Alright, and he should be just about dead. Also, it's really epic if you can actually have the last hit on him be from a flipendo. It's pretty damn epic. And they both level up. Because why not? And we got the... Don't we already have the Hungarian boots? I don't know. I don't remember now. I believe we do. And oh my god... Mode 7. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell? I've already forgotten how to play this game. Uh, what the fuck? Can you... Okay. Exit game. Don't really care. And we're already at the last section of the game. The last area. And you guys ready for a very underwhelming final boss? I'm sure you are. I know that you guys have been pumped for this moment since we started this LP. Okay, so you know how that fight was actually fairly unique and pretty hard the first time you do it. If you don't know to use Famos and you enter the fight not knowing that you need to protect Buckbeak the entire time, it can actually be pretty hard. But, so yeah. So you know how great, how that would have been a, just a great final boss and everything? And I, why am I saving twice as row? Well, just so you know, that boss totally blows compared to all these enemies we still need to scan. Because why the hell not? Okay. 
really just kind of want these guys to die. Wait, is Wingardium Leviosa useful in these guys? Okay, even though it doesn't really make any sense, it is. Well, why not use it? He's dead. And I don't want to use glaciers. That's cheap. Critical? Oh crap, I was hoping it'd be critical. And yay. The potion. So yeah, let's scan all these guys, but let's get some treasure chests, why not? This rooftop area here is the very last area of the game. So you guys are aware.